Alright, good morning you guys. We're at Amy's summer camp right now. We're gonna go give you a tour of this place. Honestly, I have no idea what to expect. I've never been here. But I think it'll be fun to kind of explore and see what they got in store. I think we can see the mountains from here. So, let's get after that. Good morning. Hello. Day two, summer camp. What are we doing? We can take you right camp. Get get breakfast. Yeah, breakfast and a tour. Sounds good. I feel like I had to like put on the sweats. Because at summer camp, it was always just like you throw your track pants on, you throw your hoodie on. It's kind of fun being up. I feel like every morning I'm in the van until like 11. Like I don't get out. So it's kind of fun being up and early. This is the fun room. They got everything in here. What's it? What's it? Foosball? What's this called again? Oh, is it actually like air? I guess. Yeah, they're awesome. And then they do indoor campfire here. Indoor campfire. That's actually sweet. Is this like break room kind of thing? Like if you can come down here and chill. No, we go upstairs to chill. I would feel like I'd be this chilling is down like here. The kids can come here too. Oh really? The yeah. kids can play this stuff? I feel like I'd be here like, yo, I want to play table tennis. <laughs> All right, that's the dining hall right there. They were nice enough to give me breakfast. Amy got me. Got me in on the breakfast, so we had egg muffin sandwiches, yeah. McMuffin sandwiches. I don't know. It was good. Where are we off to now? We're going off to the horses to the barn. What? I don't know if we'll see any horses. So they might not be there. The horses yeah. might not be there because they let them like run free, and then they bring them back oh. in the morning. So we'll see if there's horses. They call it like, jingling, catching saddle. Jing? Wait, what? Jingling. I so like when you means. like tell them to come back? It's definitely catching saddle. Yeah. So like they're out free and then you touch like you. Like they're on the property, but yeah. I mean catching saddles like bringing them back to the stables. Something like that. Something like that. I think that. catching saddle is like whenever they pass them off. Okay. Maybe they'll be here. Maybe they'll be roaming around. I don't know. We're not gonna go past because we don't want to intrude. We don't want to break rules or nothing. We're I'm a guest here, so there's horses though. I don't know their names. They got a huge setup here. Huge setup. I've been to two other summer camps and none of them have a crazy horse setup like this. This is super cool. But I guess we're in Alberta, so it's a lot more cowboy central. So they're a bit bigger on the horses around here. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of like underwhelming. Yeah. Cause like when you know the Forest the Cliff side. one. Oh, there's another side. She have to like, belay. It's like the one person holds it and like walks back. I think it's called Belay. I don't know. Yeah. Belay. Yeah. yeah. The other one we had at the Forest Cliff, the summer camp that we worked at, it had like the blue one. The true blue? Yeah, the true blue. So you can just jump down and it'll hold on to you no matter what. It's like automatic. But yeah, this one's kind of, it's cool. I feel like this is like the OG summer camp thing. We had like a super pimped out one at Forest Cliff, which is super sick. Compared to where we were, this honestly doesn't even feel like summer camp. It just feels like we're out in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of cool at the same time, but I feel like if, as a counselor, if a kid got lost here, I'd be oh, like, yeah. man, he could be anywhere. <laughs> like, this kid could be in the woods, bro. It's full on camp. This is summer camp right here. Kind of realize how luxurious yeah. Forest Cliff was now. Yeah. This is, you're in the woods, man. Go survive, go build a fire or something. That's that's today's task. Just send the kid in the woods. See you. We'll see you, in, see you in two days when your parents pick you up, buddy. Did you just tell me? So this is a hill. Yeah. It's called Strawberry Hill. Why is it called Strawberry Hill? So no one knows why it's called Strawberry Hill. There's like different reasons. People, some people are like, there's a horse called Strawberry. Some people say it's just because strawberries grow here. But the story I heard like last week was that there was a horse called Strawberry. And one night she was attacked by like a coyote or something. And they came up the next morning and there was pieces of strawberry all over the hill. So we might have it named Strawberry Hill for a different reason. But it's always hard to tell. Like, I feel like with camp, there's just so many tall tales. Yeah. Like, the amount of stories I would tell kids that were just complete lies. And then those kids grow up to be camp yeah. counselors, and they believe it. And then they tell the other, it's just... But this is a traumatizing story. Like... Fair. The kids here are young. <laughs> I don't know. It, take, it takes one counselor who's had a bit too much fun that day. <laughs> or been a bit too annoyed to just start lying to the kids. But I mean, that's kind of the best part of working at summer camp is just making up stories to kids and telling them and then making them think that you're like the coolest person ever exists. But you haven't done half the stuff you say you do. <laughs> this is the river. The nit Did you call it the Nietzsche? Why is it the Nietzsche? I don't know. You don't know? 
It's like, this is just a small little creek kind of thing. It's a bayou. This is where the kids come to get ticks and leeches. <laughs> yeah, hey, summer camp, if you ain't got something going wrong. If you're not bleeding somewhere on your on your leg or something. You don't have bruises. You didn't have enough fun. That's what I'm saying. Is the, amount of, the amount of kids who'd get hurt at summer camp, and parents would get upset, and then there'd be other parents who are just like, that's what I signed you up for. <laughs> <laughs> like, deal with it. Okay, wait, that's actually kind of cool. So this river is moving really slow right now. It's like low tide for a river. And it's because what? Like one of the boys camps, they made a dam with a bunch of logs. So they actually made a like successful dam and stopped, or like reduced the flow of the river. Like that's a cool, that's a cool summer camp thing. Like imagine if I was one of the boys and like I had that memory, I'd be like, remember we just like fully stopped the river? Like that's one of those things that you could grow up when you're older and you're like, oh, remember that time we were at summer yeah. camp? And we stopped the river. <laughs> like it still stopped to this day. <laughs> So where is this? This is the Nietzsche campsite. This is the campsite. So the kids come here off camp property. Yeah. And for do, like one night. For one night. And it's like their getaway. It's like we're going camping yeah, in the woods. Yeah, it's like their first experience of a night trip so that they can then go to the other camp and do longer ones. Oh, so this is like really prepping the kids yeah. to like go and be outdoorsy and live in the back country kind of thing. Like we're, we'll cook over the fire and stuff. Okay, so this is like stage one of like learning how to live in the back country. Yeah. And you go to the next one, you upgrade, and you actually live in the woods. That's kind of cool, actually. The tents are pretty chill, too. At least you don't have to pitch tent. Yeah. Pre-pitch tent, kind of a win. Obviously, if you've been to summer camp, you know one of the main deals is campfire. So this is their campfire. Is that it right there? Oh, I was about to say, I was like, <laughs> that is a small little campfire, dude. That looks like, I was going to say, that looks like literally like a campsite, like a family camp fire right there. This is a spot where songs, campfire songs, skits. Yep. Honestly, so fun. Like, I actually loved that <laughs> part of camp. Like, it felt goofy when I first got there. I was yeah. like, there's no way you got me in a skit. Like, there's no way you got me, like, like singing songs and everything. And you're halfway through camp and you're kind of like, okay, okay, give me a skit, give me a skit. Juice, juice, juice. Yeah, yeah you just like, the kids start loving you, you're like, wait a minute, I'm kind of feeling myself here. And I have a pool, summer camp pool. The beach was awesome. Yeah. And I love the beach, but having a pool would have been such a different like vibe. Yeah. I feel like I'd be cool at summer camp. Actually soon? Yeah, legit. Like, <laughs> our, our beach was to your knees like at max so having a pool cannonballs so it was handy like down there because you didn't even have to get changed yeah i know you wear your shorts i know I've, all the counselors <laughs> would try not to get wet yeah. and then like, you see kids walking up getting ready to spot you yeah. and you're like guys no i don't want to get wet today and you just, you just hear another counselor's like get him and like, no 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 so you kind of just like accept being wet and then you have to be like the guy who's like i'm gonna get the other counselors wet yeah. okay i'm leaving the camp now which means i'm saying goodbye to amy but i owe this to her so we've been friends, this is three years now. Yeah. This is three years. She just came to Canada three summers in a row, and I keep saying that I'll see you in Northern Ireland, and I never go. My faith is in negative numbers. So I'm making a promise in front of everybody that this winter, I will be <laughs> in Northern Ireland. I'm going to go to Europe. I'm going to film the whole thing so you guys keep me accountable, because it's been three years of me making Amy come to Canada. I don't believe it still. So. All right, we're going to make it happen, though. We're going to make it happen. Yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to Amy, and then I'll catch up with you guys in the van. Just said goodbye to Amy. I honestly, I need to go to Europe. I have so many friends over there now at this point that I have to go see her. I have to go see everybody else. If any of my other European friends are watching, I got to get over there and see you guys ASAP. So the goal is the winter time. Amy's coming back right now. Amy's back. What you forget? They all took a group photo. Everyone that you met last night at Ribs and like the Stampede, they took a group photo and I didn't know if I was in it or not. So I just like kind of like, I don't know, I didn't know how to smile or it kept going back and forth. Is that one? There's, there's the whole group. <laughs> and then I was just like in the side. They actually got me in. <laughs> it is what it is. All right, well, see we'll see you. We'll see you soon, a couple months. Promise. Big, again, big thank you to everyone here at this camp with so much hospitality. Everyone who was, like, all of the counselors that I met. Genuine, nice, funny people. Uh, it makes me miss my summer camp. If you're a parent, send your kids to summer camp. If 
if you're a teenager or like a, a young in your young 20s, go work at a summer camp. I'm telling you, you will make lifelong memories, lifelong friends. It's genuinely like the best memories. That's why Amy's back for the third year in a row. I like debated for so long about going back to camp or if I was going to take my shot on this whole YouTube travel thing. And, you know, I prayed about it and here we are. We're on, obviously on with the travel thing, but camp is so much fun. Everybody should experience it. So parents, send your kids. Kids, work as a counselor. All right, today, I was going to say it didn't go as planned, but to be honest, there wasn't really a plan for today. All I really planned on doing was like the tour with Amy, and then I was hoping I could find something to get up to um, before I went to the mountains. But nothing came up. We ended up chilling in this Walmart parking lot all day, using the Wi-Fi, uh, walking around for a little bit, exploring the area. I'm in a town right beside the Rocky Mountains. Sadly, it is pouring rain outside today otherwise i would be able to show you a view of the mountains from this town like they're literally i wish it wasn't cloudy because the mountains are like 20 minutes away from here so a 20 minute drive everything's flat you can see the mountains from here and they're beautiful i've seen them just for a quick second until the clouds covered them all again so i think i'm just gonna enjoy the gloomy weather i'm gonna cozy up watch a movie get some editing done and uh eat some food that's about it so not every day is crazy on the road. Some days are boring. So if you have any ideas of what to do on boring days like today, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, and literally just anything, any crazy idea you have, let me know. But that's it for today. So remember, you guys have one life. Make it a good one. I love you guys, and we will see you tomorrow.